We've known all along that it would be Tom Brady and the New England Patriots playing in their seventh AFC Championship game. Sorry, Houston. Well, who's going to be Brady's dance partner? The AFC Divisional Round Preview starts right now. And it's almost coming into sight, and they're running out of time. Your decision on a dime has you gliding through the sky, and it's praying that you fly on. Didn't go as planned, but you know where to land, so you stick it out your hand while you hear the cheering. Fans, commentators in the stands going in a freaking trance when you're. Change to the pylon! Pittsburgh at Arrowhead will be the matchup to watch this weekend for the AFC. You know, I'm not going to waste my time explaining why I think the Patriots are going to beat the absolute brakes off of the Texans, but instead explain why I'm rolling with the Kansas City Chiefs to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now obviously in week 4, the Steelers steamrolled the Chiefs in a 43-14 victory at Pittsburgh that saw the Chiefs turn the ball over 4 times. Ben Roethlisberger threw 5 touchdowns with 2 of them going to Antonio Brown. Le'Veon Bell also chipped in 174 total yards as well. Ugly, ugly loss, totally. However, this is where I insert that old cliche that these are two different teams playing under two completely different circumstances. And I think those factors are going to benefit the Kansas City Chiefs. First off, you're not going to get them to turn the ball over four times at Arrowhead. I, I can almost guarantee you that. The Chiefs led the league in takeaways with 33 compared to Pittsburgh's 23. They have a plus 16 turnover differential, which of course leads the league because why else would I mention it? And for those of you who don't think that they can keep up with that potent Pittsburgh offense, well, they scored more than the Falcons and the Saints in their meetings in the regular season. You know, the two top offenses in the league. But all those circumstances considered, there's one main factor why I think the Chiefs are going to steal this victory. And it's because there's a weak link in those killer bees. In his last four starts, Ben Roethlisberger has thrown seven, I repeat, seven interceptions. That doesn't bode well for a quarterback going against a team that forces as many turnovers as the Chiefs do. All offseason, I've been saying that the AFC is going to come down to New England and Kansas City. And while the Chiefs have a much taller task ahead of them, Big Ben is just the quarterback to help get them over the hump. 